If your PlayStation 2 Slim does this when you close the lid, then you need to watch this video. That behavior is a sure sign that your ribbon cable is either failing or not connected properly. If after making sure it's connected, it still continues to act that way, you should consider replacing the ribbon cable. You can buy a new one on Amazon, eBay, or AliExpress. And I'll leave a link down below to Amazon, which is where I got this one. And if you purchase through that link, I'll earn a little commission, which helps out the channel. Hopefully that will fix your problem. Let's see if it fixes this one. I've already gotten this one apart and fixed it before. It had an issue with the, let's see which one this is actually. Yeah, this is the one that had some liquid damage in the back here, and I fixed it a while back. But after testing it more, I discovered that it was still giving me this issue. So, intermittent disk reading errors. So I went ahead and bought a replacement cable. Pop that up and take that out. Hopefully the laser assembly is fine, but it was also causing this to bend up and that's not great. So what I'm gonna do is remove this old cable. All right, you can see I was getting some issues with the continu continuity mode on the multimeter not making connections, so I think the best bet was just to replace it. Okay. Clean that up a little bit, but you know, it's not gonna ever look Perfect again, unless then I was to take it out and polish it up and sand it down, but that's just not gonna happen. And then this just goes right in here. With this piece going in here, so. Pull all the tape. it down, bend it around, insert it into here. Install all the other ribbon cables. Being careful with them because you don't want to have to replace other ones if you don't have to. Okay. okay. All right. Now let's see if all that effort makes it work. All right, let's see. Now we're back in here with our, we do this. And look at that. Looks beautiful. No stuttering, no jittering. Just need to make sure it actually reads the disc, which I don't suspect it won't. 
And we have another working PS2, fully working PS2. All right. So I hope this video helps you. I hope you learned something useful from it. And uh, sometimes it can be something simple, like replacing a ribbon cable to fix your PS2. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.